Hi, Jim and Marie. Yeah, we are dry here in the city and we expect to be mainly dry for the remainder of the evening, but those rain chances for all of us will go up as we head towards tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, scattered downpours in the forecast, thunder, lightning, some gusty winds possible for your Tuesday, especially after two o'clock and additional showers scattered about on Wednesday, but we're cooler on Wednesday highs back in the upper 70s and low 80s. It's still humid though. We're going to lose the humidity. We're going to get rid of the rain chances and we're going to have a spectacular end to the work week, both Thursday and Friday featuring temperatures below average in the low 80s. The humidity will be down. The sun will be out. So a great way to kick off the upcoming weekend before the heat really comes back this weekend. All right, we're dry right now in Chicago. We have a lake breeze. That's why we're enjoying that wind out of the east. Lake breeze right now to Page County, moving to southwestern sections of Cook County. That's running into these little boundaries. See these little green lines? These are outflow boundaries from thunderstorms. And as these collide, not too far from Geneva and Elgin, we may see additional development for showers and thunderstorms right in here. Notice this updraft, boom, starting to go up with a a little clap of thunder to the north of Geneva and back off towards the west of Elgin and South Elgin. Also additional showers sending this little outflow boundary into northern LaSalle County, currently focused over DeKalb County right now. Rain cooled air, upper 60s out towards the far west and northwest with 69 McHenry. It's 77 Waukegan, but dry 80s right now, but that's below average here in Chicago, upper 70s and low 80s in northwest Indiana, 83 and dry at the moment in Kankakee. The reason why we have more rain in the forecast for tomorrow, and it looks to be a better opportunity for more widespread rain is a disturbance right now in the northwestern sections of Wisconsin coming out of Minnesota that's sliding on in. So that little disturbance tapping into some heat and humidity, and that's why we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. A lot of the stuff on the radar right now driven by daytime heating. So beyond sunset, we'll shut off these rain chances. We're mostly clear for tonight. Temperatures in the 60s back in the 80s, a touch warmer, though. We'll look for more mid 80s on the map for tomorrow afternoon, and here's 24 hours from now, four o'clock in the afternoon. Some scattered showers and storms developing to the north and northwest as we head into the evening time. The data suggesting the potential for some heavier rainfall moving into Chicago. There's seven o'clock Tuesday evening. Cloud of ground lightning. That's going to be a threat. Could have some wind gusts up to around 40, 45 miles per hour. And those scattered opportunities of showers and storms even linger into the latter part of the evening on your Tuesday. More shower activity though on Wednesday. I think less of a chance of thunderstorms because the atmosphere will a little bit more stabilized and cooler on Wednesday. And then we dry out. We really start to see those humidity levels drop as we head into Thursday and Friday. Humidity, though, starts to go up as we head into early next week. Also going up is the heat. Here's a check of the extended forecast. So temperatures below average today, below average for most spots for tomorrow. And then we're really nice again Thursday and Friday. Watch the heat humidity, though, come back this weekend. You really start to feel it on Saturday at 87. We'll be near 90 on Sunday with an isolated storm chance. And a week from today, scattered thunderstorms in 91. It's that time of the year when we have thunderstorms in right. 90s. We have to at least mm -hmm. mention the chance of some stronger right. storms. Sure. So we'll keep an eye on that. We have a whole seven days to watch it for you. Okay. We'll do. Thanks. Albert. You got it.